It also, there's a fantastic range of 2010s, two Thank great you. vintages side by side. How do you see the two vintages shaping up against one another? Um, well, that's a very good question, and it's probably the question we're going to ask ourselves for the next 40 years. Uh, the tastings we do very uh, often, 89, 90, 90, 89, I like this one, you like this one. Um, for me today, and I don't want to compare, but uh, um, the 2009 has the lusciousness, the sexiness all, 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 almost, uh, um, which, which you know, pleased all the palettes and, and, and got all that hype around the vintage last year. This year, and this is something you can understand well in, in England, there is a, a rigor, but it's a noble rigor. It's the rigor of, of a good education uh, that, that you can find throughout the wines. It's very precise. Uh, there's a lot of, of structure in the wines, uh, but there's a good level of freshness. The alcohol is quite high as well. Uh, we, do, we did suffer from a drought, um, and, uh, which, which means that there was uh, uh, very little juice inside, uh, inside the, the berries and we had to be very careful in the extraction. Uh, but if, if you did that, you could have a, a, that, that natural balance which is what we love in wines and what uh, we, we always uh, and aim for to have the wines more drinkable uh, and uh, in pleasure as much as in volume because we should not forget the mm -hmm. second aspect either. So they seem very complete wines, very balanced wines, but you mentioned alcohol there. Yes. What sort of alcohol levels did you achieve? Oh, we're, we're at uh, around 14. Okay. 14, 14 slightly plus in some wines, uh, but, which the, but you know, that's an average of the final blend. So it means that some, uh, some, some, uh, some parcels went, were, were at 15, 15.1. Um, luckily enough, we had no problems in, uh, in, in, the, in the fermentation. Um, but I've, 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 heard, I've heard some, some people in, in the region uh, who, you know, who, who had their, their malolactic fermentation just lasting forever and ever because of that amount of alcohol. Mm -hmm. So did you pick relatively early? No. Or was no, a normal no. sort of... No, 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 no. Um, you know, again, we can very often start before others because Pomerol is an early maturing uh, uh, appellation. Merlot is an early maturing grape variety. And we do a lot of work in the vineyard, which allows us to gain about... Depending on the vintage, it allows us to gain between, between two and five days. Um, so that's why we, we, we have that reputation of picking early. Um, but uh, it's, uh, in, in general, we picked at the right level of, of, of maturity. Um, Pomerol, of course, earlier than Saint-Emilion, because as I explained, it's, it's an earlier terroir. But um, uh, the, 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 the harvests were long, though. Uh, were, were very long, but I guess that's part of, uh, of, of the new winemaking. We, we have the new approach to the vineyard where we, we almost pick by the vine. You know, before we were picking by vineyards, then we, we were picking by parcels, and now we're picking by half parcels. And, and, and even in, um, in Belair Monange, which is our, our new vineyard, or not that new anymore, in, uh, in Saint Emilion, um, some blocks we picked three, in, in, in three times first the very old vines, then the less. Uh, the, 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 uh, less young and then the, 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 the young vines. So it's a completely different approach of, uh, of detailed attention. Mm -hmm. Sure. You mentioned Bella Melange there. You had very, very small yields in 2009. Yes. How did the yields compare in 2010? Well, it's, it's, still, it's still very small, but we managed to, to reach uh, um, a level which is uh, uh, a little more comfortable, uh, 18 hectoliters per hectare. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Edward. Thank you very much.